Hello Scorpio, welcome. So today we've just got a, a your second half um, of June 2020 general reading. Uh, with it being general, it's not going to resonate for everybody, so um, you know, check out your replacements, your moon, rising and Venus. Um, quick spread, we'll have an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future and outcome. We'll clarify those and uh, try and paint a picture for you. So if it resonates, let me know. Right, see what we've got for you, Scorpio. Right, there's your issue. That's what you're aware of, not aware of. Recent past, immediate future, and outcome. Okay, your overall energy, four of pentacles. Uh, it could be a reading about finances, or you could be dealing with a an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Virgo, 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 Capricorn. Um, or you might be dealing with something called Virgo. Who knows? Um, so, um, yeah, um, could be career, could be investments, could be being a bit stingy with your money. Either that or sensible. We'll see. So your issue, Eight of Cups. So you're walking away from something or walking towards something. Um, not necessarily. It does look a bit doom and gloom, does this card? You know, you know, walking into the night. But uh, it could be just finding your path. Right. What you're aware of? Eight of Swords. So we've got two eights already. You might be seeing eighty-eight a lot. Um, Libra was the same actually. They they were seeing eighty-eight, I think. Um, so you might have Libra in your chart, or dealing with a Libra. Um, eight of Swords trapped by something. Um, blind to the way out or not wanting to see a way out what you're not aware of knight of cups so there could be some romance coming in um relatively slowly i'd say but certainly on the way recent past seven of swords so you've dealt with a lot of sneakiness i think there's a mixture here, there's earth, air signs and earths and uh, water signs. So we've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius and and then with the water we've got Cancer, Scorpios like yourselves and uh, Pisces. I think you've dealt with a lot of manipulation in the past Scorpio. And I think that's what's kept you bound. I think you're afraid to uh, find your way out because of your past Romantic traumas, oh, I would say. So maybe this is it. This is you walking away from it. But don't give up hope because uh, you know there is still romance out there. Immediate future, Knight of Swords, and it's coming in quickly. Coming in very quickly. So you got two knights here. So you might even have two um, suitors coming in. Uh, we're still only dealing with uh, air and water at the moment. Pentacles with the uh, overall energy, but. Um, I would say there's um, I, th I would say there's an air sign coming in very very quickly. Might be a bit abrupt type of person, you know. Speaks before thinking type of thing, but uh, you know they're uh, they get what they want. They go in, bull in a china shop. Outcome, six of swords. So you, you're heading to Karma Shores. You're not quite there yet. Um, but you're heading in the right direction. There's a lot of air here, um, so I think you're definitely dealing with uh, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's um, you might well be actually moving house as well, because um, or changing locations of some kind. Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords could donate and um, could suggest movement. Right, let's see if we can look into it further. Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords, and Six of Swords. Thank you. Bottom of that deck, nine of pentacles. So your overall energy is all pentacles, four and nine. Um, so there might there might be an earth sign in your life, 
or you could just well be a Scorpio that's quite grounded and um, um, you know money in the bank type of thing four of pentacles you know you, you look after your money and nine of pentacles you got enough to uh, you know to live a bit of life of luxury really which is nice okay eight of cups is your um, issue with the knight of wands so you got three knights on the table at the moment so there could be a lot of clashing of personalities here there might be a couple of suitors that you're dealing with Scorpio eight of swords with the ten of swords so what you know is happening is you know like we've we've spoke about your, your past you've had a lot of upset in the past when it comes to relationships and you've been tied and it's affected you but you know that's ending now it's as if you've got a wake-up call as to letting go of what no longer serves you and not letting your past dictate your future knight of cups with the two of wands i think you've got a choice to make when it comes to uh these suitors i think you've got two coming in which is cool good seven of stars recent past with the eight of cups you're walking away from past hurts definitely um you've you've had enough of the manipulations you've had enough of a just not being treated right um you know just sometimes you don't ask for much you just want a bit of respect and, and and a bit of love and i don't think you've seen that scorpio in the past um I think your past has been an air sign. Your future could be potentially an air sign as well. Or predominantly cup. Queen of Cups. So the Knight of Swords is bold and brass, but it's one cross with the Queen of Cups. I'm seeing a bit of um, an emotionally balanced knight in a sense. Maybe quite an intuitive knight. Six of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. You're heading to happiness, family, abundance. I think money-wise, I think you're sorted. I think you just want to share that with somebody. And I think you get to do that. You're on your way. You've, you've learned from your mis mistakes in your past. And I, and I don't think you've made mistakes as in you've, been, you've treated people poorly. I think you've been treated poorly. I think you've been taken for granted I think you've been I don't want to word, use the word abuse but you know not physical abuse but you know mental emotional abuse but you've you've cottoned on to that now you've realized it uh, you're using your intuition now and you're gonna fight for your future and your future is good you're heading you're heading towards you know complete stability with your overall legends you've been pentacles and you know final outcome is pentacles it won't surprise me if you you are dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn in the end i think that's who you end up with um i think you've had a bad time with um, an air sign libra gemini aquarius and now we need to balance your emotions and make the right decisions and i think you're gonna do i think you've learned from giving in to people in the past and you're not going to do that anymore Scorpio good stuff outcome looks brilliant you're heading to family abundance and just got everything house home children doggies you know you name it you've got it so brilliant brilliant Scorpio so if it resonates let me know um if not I'll see you for the July 2020 love readings um, because we're flying through the air. Alright, take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Bye.